Hi, Charlie. Can you say hi to everyone? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I am at home, but I'm not in the studio today. I actually put out a community post a couple weeks ago asking you guys what you would think about going thrift shopping with me or doing like some type of like shopping haul and the answer was yes. So this is gonna be a little bit different for my normal videos. I'm normally in my studio showing you what I'm working on, what I'm up to as a small business owner, as an Etsy seller. But today I wanna go out and get some inspiration, mainly gonna be thrift shopping because I'm looking for some items and I'm gonna spend the day with my two older daughters. So that's what we're up to today. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So let's go shopping. Of course, the first stop had to be Dunkin' Donuts, and then I realized I had no gas. My husband was in the area, so he came and filled me up, and then we went over to my daughter's, picked her up, and the two puppies are going to play together while we are shopping. Unfortunately, I don't think that I caught enough footage of us actually shopping. It was quite crowded in most of these places and with hanging out with my girls and kind of like talking, um, I had never really vlogged when I was out in public. So as I continue to do this, maybe a little bit more, this um, part of the video will get a little bit better. But here's some of the footage that I did grab and later on the video, I'll explain exactly where we went, what I got, how much I spent and what I plan on doing with these items. It's the next day, it's the next morning. My studio is filled with all of the thrifted items I got yesterday. Here's Cookie, of course. She is chewing on the shelf, so I'm gonna give her a new toy that I found yesterday. And let's go ahead and dive into all the cool stuff I got. So the first stop, place that we went to was the Goodwill store. These stores are all by my daughter's house, so I'm not familiar with the location. I'm not familiar with any of these stores, but it was a pretty big Goodwill store. Um, very different from the ones that I have around me. Um, this one had two different entrances. One side was for the bin section, and the other side was like a regular Goodwill store. So we started on the side with the bins and honestly when I walked in my daughter's all about these bins I think they're called like crazy bins by us um, she actually has an online store where she resells um, items that she thrifts she does really really well doing that <clears throat> she's going to school for fashion so she's really into fashion and she finds amazing things and I guess the way that the bins work at least around me is if the items aren't sold they go straight to the landfill so um that's part of the reason why she does it and i don't know if i have a shot of it or not but in the footage she has a pink coach purse that she found at these bins for 15 dollars. it's really cute so the way that the bins work are you literally go in and see a bunch of bins. These were like blue bins all over. At first I was skeptical and thought, what am I gonna find in this? This is, wasn't what I was expecting. I think I was partially like worried about the germs <laughs> of sticking my hand in these bins. And honestly, when I first got started, I felt like I was just digging through kind of some trash. Like they, they opened the donation bag and just dumped them randomly in these bins but um there was a lot of like broken pieces missing pieces so that was a little frustrating but once I got started and once I found my first item I was definitely hooked and had a lot of fun with the bin so let me show you my first thrifted item this is I would say it's three feet tall, maybe. I'm not really good. 
two foot, maybe two foot tall <laughs> vase. This reminds me of something out of the 80s or 90s that was probably in my house. Um, I'm not in love with the color. It might work. I might keep it this way, but I think I'm going to spray paint it. So I think I might spray paint it black actually and put some like pompous um, branches in it. But that was the first thing. To nobody's surprise, I found a vase. I didn't realize until, I don't know, last year when I was decorating for the holidays that I have an obsession with vases. I collect vases and I didn't even know it. <laughs> so they're all over my house. I have so many different colors, different textures. And so I just love vases. I think they're a great decor piece to decorate any space. So I have a ton of vases. So not surprised that I found that vase. All right, the next item that I have is this mirror. It's kind of hard to see how big it is. But again, this reminds me of something my mom probably had in our condo growing up and it's because of the color of the wood. I don't mind this color of the wood. It's not my favorite. So again, it might be painted, <laughs> uh, but for three bucks, I thought this was a good deal. I don't have a lot of mirrors in my house and I wanted some, so I'm glad that I found that. I'm actually gonna put this back on the wall so I don't knock it over. So again, we're redoing our living room. So a lot of these pieces are probably going to end up in my living room. Now this, I used to hate doilies. I did. My mom had them as well. This is like bringing me back to my childhood, <laughs> but they are in style. Uh, it was giving me a look, like some boho vibes. And this isn't like the, ah, cookie. No, 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 no. Cookie's having fun with this. Ugh. <laughs> this isn't like cloth. It's that kind that you can wash, like you can wipe down. So I really like that. But the reason why um, I picked this was I haven't done a vending show or a vendor booth. I haven't done a pop-up or anything for the items that I sell. I'm still debating if that's something I want to do. But if I do, I was thinking that would look really cute on one of my six foot tables <clears throat> um, to kind of tie things together. And some of these pieces that I honestly bought could be taken to those shows and used to display different things like my crystals. All right, moving on. I got this rattan <coughs> shelf. You could probably like put this on something, meaning I could put this in my office, like on my desk to like hold things. But I was thinking it's gonna be hung. My room that I'm doing in the living room, it's kind of like part of the decor, the rattan is what I want in there. I'm not quite sure this piece will fit in there. If it's not, um, I have a half bathroom down here. It's black and it's mainly decorated with kind of like boho stuff like rattan and it's the color vibe. So there is a couple of, you know, it's falling apart, but we can easily fix those. So I found that in a bin, in the bottom of the bin. I had to dig. I got this coffee mug holder. The dog is like, chewing on this and these are going to be great for displaying products whether it's for photos or taking it to a show and displaying some of my items I have those little crystal bags back there that are hanging on the hooks I thought they would look cute on this um, I'll probably keep it this color if not I'll spray paint it I've been spray painting everything black because that's kind of the theme I'm doing right now in my house. I'm trying not to spray everything black. I love these. 
I love candle holders. I love this brass color. This is going to tie in, um, you know, some of my other pieces and colors. So this will be staying the same. I was looking for a lot of different candle holders for like my dining room table, my fireplace, um, the foyer area. Cannot have enough candles. And basically this bag in here, I found a bunch of these glass candle holders. Yeah, they pretty much all look the same. The Dollar Tree used to have these that look similar to these and then they stopped selling them, at least by me. I think there was a different one in here. Oh, here's one. Um, these I will most likely be spray painting. I'm kind of going with black, white, beige. Cookie, stop. She's eating all the wood in here. Um, black, white, beige, and a little bit of like pink colors um, to accent some of the rooms in my house right now. Last item that I got from the bins was this cool flower pot. I loved the colors. Again, these are like two of the colors that I'm trying to accent throughout my house. And so that's what I got from the bins. The way that the bins work is they have you weigh your cart and they do it like per pound. So my total bill there was $32. My daughter did get some clothes. So I think I spent about $25 on my items, which I thought was really good considering what I got. Um, and it was a lot of fun doing it. So I'll show you all the items together so you can kind of see what it looked like together. All right, moving on to the second place, which was Goodwill. This was just the regular store, not the bins. This was probably my favorite finds, I guess. Um, I loved everything that I got from the second stop. So first thing is this rattan basket. I'm assuming these are for glasses, like to carry your glasses. Um, I don't have a bunch of glasses. <laughs> So I was thinking I could put either candles in there, kind of on top of like a coffee table. Um, I might try to remove these pieces here and again, just kind of put this on a coffee table um, and let that be like the centerpiece. But I love the style of basket. I love like the rattan look that it's giving. So that was a fun find. The second item that I bought I wasn't quite sure about, I'm still not quite sure about, but I see a vision with it. So <clears throat> this is really heavy. <laughs> it has a Y in it. So I'm assuming this might have been somebody's like customized wedding gift and they got rid of it. Um, but what I was thinking is this would be cool to either stain it and I'm not really into the silver too much right now. I might paint this gold, either um, doing like a dark color wood or a black and having this as centerpiece on my dining room table. And then on top of it, you know, put my candles and a flower arrangement, something like this, kind of like a tray, or I guess it could go on, it's too big for a coffee table. It's way too big. This thing is so heavy and sturdy. Uh, I got this for $8, so. I thought that was a good find. <laughs> I'm not worried about the why being there because I plan on putting a bunch of stuff on top of it. I found this cute little toothbrush holder. I think this will look cool in that half bath that I was talking about, especially if I decide to put that rattan shelf in there. I think that will look really nice. <clears throat> and then I also got this tray which if you don't know, I sell a ton of crystals on my Etsy shop. I have a lot of crystals. I love crystals. I love their metaphysical properties. So I have little crystal stations throughout my house. So I thought this would be really cute to put some of my crystals in, put it on a coffee table, put it on the table in the foyer, um, or just keep, you know, next to my bed. I thought it was really cute. 
So I like that piece. Um, and again, it could be used for when I do, if I do any vending shows to put crystals in. I also found this vase. And I love when you can mix colors, textures, patterns, this kind of, I don't know if like anthropology is the right word for this, but I love it. It speaks to me. So this I thought would also look cute with some, you know, pompous branches coming out. And I wanna do a lot of shelves in the laundry room, in the living room and even the dining room. So this will be a nice accent piece for that. I don't know if this would be categorized as a vase. I don't think it's a potter plant. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it has this texture. I love the color, so I won't be touching this at all. Not quite sure what I'm gonna put in it. If you have any suggestions other than pompous branches, let me know in the comments below because I'm not sure what I can use this for, but it's durable, it's cute. Oh, it came from Walmart. <laughs> There's a Walmart sticker on the bottom. Then I got these cute little glass sets and I got them because they're real glass. They're a little vintage and my kids keep pouring. They're learning how to pour their own drinks. And so when they pick up the big plastic cups, which I'm trying to switch everything from plastic over to glass anyways, they pour it to the top. So we are wasting so much, um, you know, beverages right now. So I thought these would be cute for them to pour their drinks in. They're not too big. They're not a normal size class. Um, so I could thrift glasses, bowls all day long but we have way too much. The last item that I got, I was so excited about. I couldn't be, believe somebody would donate this, get rid of it. I was super excited because again, it goes along with my love for crystals. I've always wanted one of these. I just haven't splurged to buy one of these. I think I'm lying. These can go anywhere from 20 to $45. Um, but I'm really excited that I found this crystal shaped, um, shelf. Okay. So it can either, you know, sit on top of something like a dresser, a table, or it doesn't have anything to hang it, but I know that I could get my husband to hang some pieces and this might be, um, you know, going to my wall in my living room is really what I think, really what I want to do with it. And you can put, you know, some of your items in there like crystals. Um, and this would be super cute too, if you, you know, took it to a show to display some of your crystals. So that place I spent $43 even. Again, my daughter got some clothes. So I would say I probably spent about $35, $32, $35 there. So all together, I would say that I spent like $55 um, from Goodwill. Getting all this stuff, again, I'll show you kind of a close up of what I got from just the Goodwill store. And then I'll put it together so you can see. Aesthetically, it looks really nice and goes together, um, you know, as far as like decorating and the style and so I'll show you that and then I'm going to show you my home goods haul that was definitely that was my favorite I love home goods I think their prices are fairly reasonable if you're looking for something that's cute trendy and I love what I got I definitely splurged it was not part of my budget my husband was not that happy with me <laughs> but I did it so I'll show you the Halloween stuff that I got Here's what I found at Home Goods. I'm gonna start with like the regular like house stuff that I found. Um, I thought the dog was trying to get out. <laughs> this is Cookie's new bowl. It is super cute. It was on sale for $15. I thought that's a really good price. Honestly, Home Goods has really cute pet stuff. 
My daughter recently got her puppy a pet bed there. It had like mushrooms on it. It was like for $25. I went there looking for the ones that she said had moons and stars on it, but they didn't have it. And I really want to get that for Cookie because she's growing out of her little puppy bed. But this is a good deal. Um, I definitely recommend home goods for pet stuff versus the regular pet stores and even Amazon. So, cause her little bed that I bought on Amazon was like $30 and it's falling apart and stuff. Okay, I got a pan. All of my Pioneer Woman pans are falling apart. So I'm slowly replacing them. And this is a style I like. I love the light color wood and the gray color here. These pans work really well. I honestly need to invest in like a new pot and pan set, but it's not in the budget right now. So we're just making do. And we go through pots and pans, like our whole set within a day when it comes to cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we needed an extra pan because my picky eater, she's four and she likes eggs. She's obsessed with eggs. So randomly throughout the day, we were making eggs and normally the pans never washed right away. So we're always having to wash a pan. So that $7.99 pan is worth it to me. It wasn't necessary, but I got it. <clears throat> All right, on to the Halloween stuff. Look at these, look at these black candles. These were $7.99 and they're super cute. Yes, you can get these taper candles at the dollar store. They're white, but this one's black and I love the design on this candle. So let me get a candle holder. We'll get two here and we'll test it out. Oh, look at that. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. That is so cute. That is exactly what I'm looking for. That's what I want to kind of accent different areas of my house. Here's the glass one. It's not staying in the glass one. That's okay. We'll go to the dollar store and get the white ones for that. Did I get another style? I did. Here's a glass one. It's a little not sturdy in there. Ooh. Oh, I thought I broke it. <laughs> okay. <gasps> it did break. Oh no. We're going to have to repair it. I bought one of these hot glue guns and I bought wax that you can melt so I can easily put a little dollop on there and fix my candle that I just broke. We're gonna leave that out to do that. Okay back to what I got. I'm gonna scoot around here. A lot of what I found <clears throat> came when I was checking out. So I originally saw this white skull with gold butterflies and that's what I put in my cart and then when I got close to the checkout line I noticed it was broke so I decided to put it back my daughter said why don't you just ask for a discount because I think it was like $12.99 but I'm like no it's broke you know and we went back to see if they had any more and they didn't so then I decided I was gonna get like a Halloween like uh, picture like a frame for the wall and then I was like no that's not what I came here for so I started all over we were in that store forever I was just like walking around like what do I want to get what do I want to get they had so much cool stuff at home goods I had a really hard time deciding but this I found um, going through the checkout line these are little flower plants you can see my camera <laughs> Um, boo, a little skull, and a spider. And I just loved the coloring of this. I'll show you a better picture here in a minute. So those are gonna look cute to pop all over the place. Um, you know, I could put them together, but I'm probably gonna like throw them around. Um, uh, maybe put some on the fireplace, some on the foyer area, and on the dining room table. And then 
because this year I redid my little coffee nook station and I don't have any Halloween mugs. So I got four of these mugs and it comes in this holder. It's $12.99. I love skulls. So this is something that will probably stay up all year round. All year round. Um, and it goes with the color scheme, the black and white that I kind of have going on right now in my house. So yeah, these are super cute. When I showed my husband, he was like, why? Why did you need that? Because I like it, it's cute. Okay, last but not least, my favorite item from Home Goods. This was found at the register. The lady didn't even really realize that they had it. So I don't know if it's available at all Home Goods stores. And by the way, I went to Home Goods looking for the white cute ghosts. They didn't have really any of those at the Home Goods I went to. And then I went there looking for the throw blanket, either the black or pink one. And I didn't have that one either. So <laughs> I'm not done going to Home Goods. I definitely want to at least get a blanket. I want a Halloween blanket. Um, but I'm very happy with this next item I got. Are you ready? It is a cauldron flower pot. It has a skull in there and a spider. And it has these, I don't know if these are pompous, but this is what I was like talking about that I wanted to put in my vases is something similar to this. It's pretty heavy. It's super cute. This was $14.99. So I'm excited to find it. It's new little home today. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this piece, but it was my favorite, the little skull. I'm probably going to mess with the branches here in a second so you can see that skull a little bit better. But this was my number one find for Halloween at Home Goods. Let me know below what your favorite Home Good um, Halloween item is this year. And that's all that I got. Home Goods, I spent only $78. Is more than I wanted to. Like I said, I splurged, went a little bit over budget, but. A couple years ago, our Halloween stuff got ruined in our attic. A mouse got into everything and we couldn't salvage any of the stuff. So I'm slowly regaining and building my Halloween decor. So it was justified in my opinion. <laughs> All right. Thanks for going along with me today in my haul. Um, this is new to the channel. Let me know if you liked it. Um, I know it's a little bit different than, um, you know, being in the studio and making stuff, but I hope you had fun. I had fun doing it and thanks for hanging out with me.